Hi, I'm Mr. Goddard, and in this video, I'm just going to just quickly show you one of the one of the early uh, activities I have my students do. It's normally sometimes first day if they can manage it a first day or two, um, and that is build a triangle and build some sort of parallelogram. Uh, if you can be a rectangle, that's awesome. Um, and there's a reason why. I'm not going to totally give all the answers away here, but let me just tell you. So first, the way that I do this and have my students do it is just get get a couple beams, well three beams, and then connect them with uh, with a pin there on each vertex. Okay, so uh, there you go. And then you do the same thing uh, with four beams, and you make a rectangle or parallelogram. You got to have this obviously same on on each side. Um, I'll put both of these sort of down delicately. What you'll find is that one of these is stronger than the other. One of them uh, you can move around and bend and it's actually really weak structurally and then the other one is not. So it's always kind of fun to see what that is. And then once you figure out which one of those two uh, is stronger and which one is weaker, then try to get the weaker one and figure out how uh, to make it stronger. And uh, what's really cool is that once you do that, there's uh, online you can look at uh, buildings and uh, uh, you know, skyscrapers and things like that, and um, there's one of these shapes that is used all the time. So anyway, that's just a fun little activity, uh, just pins and beams. So uh, good luck figuring out which one of those two is um, <clears throat> stronger structurally. Thanks for watching.